Hello, welcome to another new episode. Um, <laughs> so, we've spent a ton of time trying to get this dragon half of shield and, like, just generally trying to get the hard Arduin diary. And you could probably argue, like, the point of this is to get an increased pickpocketing chance to make additional money. Probably could have just made that money if you had spent the time you spent on getting the diary on pickpocketing things. That's true, but I don't give a shit. <laughs> This is fun. I'm having a good time. I like I like trying to go for diaries again. Um, I kind of got into a funk as soon as we finished the last master quest, uh, and I realized that we were just out of content that was doable. Before it was like, okay, I'll just grind up to the minimum quest requirements. We'll go do the quest immediately. But knowing that there's a much longer grind after that, that I need to get gear and uh, higher combat stats to have a chance of succeeding, has been kind of a letdown. So. Focusing things around uh, hard diary completion, I think, is fun. Um, I think it might be a good plan to go for completing all the hard diaries, and then once that's done, then going hard on um, finishing the Grandmaster quest. Because if I do all the hard diaries, I'm probably going to be high enough stats just from doing them that will be good to go. That said, let's keep working on a hard diary. Let's go fight some more Gorax. Uh, we're very high on the kill count. Haven't gotten the shield drop yet. We did get the dragon spear. We have a second one of those. Um, see if we luck out and get it this time. Tooth half a key. My old friend. Good buddy. Yet another hard glue scroll. These guys actually drop glue scrolls pretty commonly. Let's go do it. Book clue that I can do. Oh, the Hesidious one. Okay. Ooh, here's the one that requires the blue dehyde chaps. Almost able to craft those. I could craft them with boosting. I have one in the bank though, so I think we'll be okay. We need to buy that rune hammer. We need to just make sure that I can actually buy it. I mean, if it was a rare drop or something. Relic. Oh, shit. Number in stock. Ooh. Please tell me I didn't make get one and then, uh, like, alk it or something. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Good job past me, apparently. Um, blue dehyde chaps. Chaps. Did I already put some in a stash somewhere? Hmm. Check. I could go ahead and boost and I've got plenty of those mushroom pies. Should still have the elemental shield. Yeah. Uh, stash locations. Blue. Chaps. Okay, yeah, I did build one. I'll go ahead and build this one too, that's fine. Um, I'll just craft the thing. Let me just double check what I need to do to do that. Blue behind chaps. Ranged armor. Crafting 68. Yeah, boost that. Two blue dragon leather. Uh, did I already get it tanned? I must have before. I remember now. No. I'll go ahead and make a few of these here, just in case. 
and I need a needle and thread, right? Dunzo, perfect. I can't make the other thing, so... Oh, that's right, my mushroom pie is uh, two doses, that's cool. Okay, so I have the stuff I need. This is at the fishing guild. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Is it actually inside the fishing guild? Hmm. Hold on. I have Admiral Pie. Boost fishing level by 5. I need to get fishing up to 63 anyway so that it can beat Herblor. And so I guess so I can be ready for this, uh... This clue scroll in the future, so... I'm gonna go... We're gonna break things up. I'm gonna go get 63 fishing. I don't think it's gonna be real quick. It's gonna take a while, but, uh... That is okay. Come back and do this clue scroll. Sixty-three fishing, all that for a clue scroll. Let's chop up this fish and get out of here. Oh shit, that's right. I need to have gear for the emote clue, don't I? Well, there's a bank in the guild, isn't there? I think there is. We're walking past the fishing guild way the fuck back in episode one when we were live streaming it. Long ass time ago. Cool, we did it. And now I can bank this thing and I don't have to worry about blue dehyde chaps anymore. Pretty cool. Go ahead and mark in my uh, tracker that this has been built. Alright, cool. And I should probably build the, the Addy Square Shield ones later, but maybe I'll just wait until those pop up as, uh, as actual clues. Oh, hey, speaking of blue dehyde chaps, we just got the other one. We did build that, though, so we're all set. That was a long one with two emote clues. Here's the casket. Garbage. <laughs> Man, we've just been really unlucky with uh, these caskets lately. I don't know what's up. I guess if I go through and alcohol all that stuff, it'll probably be some decent money. That was an accident. Um, I'm going to go check on my palm tree really quick, and then we're going to go back to Borax. I'll really turn to my construction XP at some point, too. How much is that now? It is four. Nice. Guys, it's step six out of seven and it's fine, so I assume that means that we're okay. Cool. It's our old buddy Tooth Half of Key. Hello, old friend. Another hard clue scroll, do we go do it real quick? Hmm. 
Looking at an early casket this time. Drum roll, we get 82,000 coins. There's a couple things, several things in there. I have no idea what they are. So let's take a look. Zamorak Coif. Fuck is that? Zamorak Coif. Whoa, that's an upgrade, I think. 40 defense is required along with 70 ranged. No shit. It is like if there was a black dragon hide helmet, that's what it is. Uh Oh man, that's really exciting. Okay, hold on. So I'm looking at what the other shit is, but that's exciting by itself. Um, just confirm that it is in fact better. It is. Blessed Coif is better than the Archer Helm. Dude, fuck yeah. It's got a good attack bonus across the board. It has plus one prayer on it. Looks pretty cool. Nice. <gasps> Ooh, stole. That's a big deal, too. It's a neck piece. Okay, plus nine prayer. So, stoles matter because there are clues that I can't do due to not having a stole. Oh, but I still need a rune heraldic shield. Okay. Red Cavalier. This is like fashion scape. Holy blessing, I don't really care about. But I just got an upgrade from clues. That's that's why we do them. That is super fucking exciting. I am, uh, I am pumped about that, I gotta say. Hold on to that stole. Let me go ahead and put this in my bank. Get rid of the old placeholder. Keep the archer helm in case I do something dangerous. Go into the wilderness or something. Alright. Oh, let's get back to Gorax. Still haven't gotten that stupid shield. It's the last thing I can get for the blessed dehyde armor is to get, um... The boots. That would be really cool. Glad we're doing these clue scrolls. Glad we're fighting these Gorax. Getting value for it. There's a loop half of key. That's always good. I'm just never going to get this stupid drop. If I just kept doing Slayer, I would have gotten it eventually. But I figured 1 in 250 is not so bad. We are on number 444. Another loop half of key, pretty much back to back. I have to check my counts when we get back. So I am getting more of them now. Six hundred killed is when there should have been a ninety percent chance it would have dropped by then. We're currently at four hundred and eighty kills. Obviously, it never becomes certain, but it approaches one hundred percent all the way up to one thousand kills. There it is. <laughs> all right, I got in the mode of just never expecting it to drop, and there it is, in all its glory. Fucking phenomenal. All right, it's actually pretty comparable to the Cave Horrors grind. We more than doubled the number of Cave Horrors for the drop rate. Well, I'm going to go chisel all those gems. I'm kind of bewildered. It, it, you, you do a grind like this, you kind of get in the mode where you're, like, you're not even excited every time a kill happens now, because you just don't think it's going to happen. You're a little excited, but you don't like literally expect it every time, like you do for the first few dozen. We got a lot of clue scrolls out of this. I got a, an actual upgrade. We're in a stage of the game where getting upgrades is pretty difficult. Uh, shitload of gems. A uh, shitload of herb lore XP, which I think is really going to matter in the long, one, long run. I'm really 
excited about that. Okay, so to do this shield thing, um, I can do other content now, I'm so pumped. <laughs> Before I do the shield thing, let me chisel all these gems. Let's get that out of the way. Oh, my bank is full. Uh-oh. Right, I'll have to deal with that later. I don't have the mental capacity to do it right now. I'll save a couple spots from the things I just threw in the clue stashes. There's probably a ton of stuff I can elk. Maybe we'll do it here shortly. Okay, uh, chiseling. Let's go. Okay, we got a ton of crafting XP from all those gems. Uh, so 9,000 just now from the stuff that I started banking, and then before that we went from the end of 65 to 66. So probably on the order of like 15,000 or so. And then we're going to be getting how much XP from the claws when we get around to actually training our floor conventionally. 22,360 Rubler XP from the, cla the Claws. That's super good. So that's like having a couple hundred Quarm leaves. Okay, uh, so here's the deal. I need to go spend all my money. I need to go broke so I can make the Dragon Shield where, for the Artie Diary. Uh, but before I do that, I need to spend all my money on Fletching training. Because it's going to give me money back, right? But uh, I'm not going to be able to do this. This is much easier to do when I have a bigger cash deck. And also, I don't have enough money to buy the other half of the Dragon Shield, so I'm going to get that money now by uh, fletching these things. So we're going to go do that. All right, materials purchased. Let me fuck up my hands now. <laughs> Again, I use my left hand on the uh, 4 and the 6 on the numpad, and my right hand on the 5 and it's pretty brutal. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's go. Okay, my hand hurts. <laughs> I'm gonna go start selling these so that they can start giving me some money back. Fletching 65. Now make U short bows and diamond tipped adamantite bolts, which I think is relevant. Anything tipped adamantite bolts is relevant, I think. Whew. So like, if I can do that perfectly, it's like 300k an hour, and if I slow down because it hurts my hand, it's like 200k an hour. <laughs> Dang, yo. Give me the sillies for one extra coin. It's pretty good. No, I just made like 80k. And got a ton of 33k fletching XP. Let's do that a couple more times. I'm going to try to do it until I have 800k gold, so I have some gold left over to do crafting after smithing the shield. That's probably reasonable. Sixty-six fletching, which means nothing. Hey, maze random. I'll get my fingers a chance to recover. Try exploring mazes. Let's see, we got 88 coal, 24 mithril from doing that. Okay, I'll take it. All right, let's go check on uh, that palm tree. Then we gotta work on um, crafting. I'm pretty excited to have this diary done. 
I didn't really think about it. The main reason I'm doing this for the 10% pickpocketing chance, um, but I forgot that we're going to get the Artiman Cloak 3, which is a flat upgrade to the melee kit. Uh, also, the Watchtower teleport can be moved to Yanil, which means I can move my player owned house somewhere better. I'll have to figure out where I want to send it. Probably somewhere annoying to get to. Could do like Hasidius or something. Still need to make a bunch of uh, house tablets and redirect all of them. I need to mine some clay, which I'm not pumped about. Looks like it turned out okay. Just confirm. Let's check health. Check the health of a palm tree. Oh shit. Farming 68. Now there are palm trees. Pretty awesome. The coconuts. Coconuts special. Perfect. Nature implants. Here it can be used. Create a half coconut. Create a coconut milk and go to the shelf. You can make certain herbal herb lore items. Then it shows me to make super compost. Okay. I'm just going to leave this thing up. That's fine. Pretty awesome. And I was right, we weren't going to be waiting on the palm tree. 70 farming, 68 smithing, 60 ever, 65 runecraft. We're none of those things. Or 72 thieving. Thank goodness for boosting. Okay. Uh, crafting time. That's gonna involve buying a shitload of sand and uh, soda ash. I'm gonna do that. I understand what these screen markers are for. This makes sense. I first saw them, like, why do we want that? Like, I get tiles, but I get this makes sense for this. Okay, I should go to bed, so I am going to do that uh, when I wake up. From your perspective, in a few seconds, I'm going to finish blowing this glass, get us a 68 crafting boost to make a skills necklace, which is something that I'm kind of excited about having anyway. I think that would be very helpful. Uh, and then with the skills necklace, we got to go recharge it, we got to craft the dragon shield, and then we will have the hard arty diary. Uh, at which point I'll probably test it out by checking out uh, Master Farmer steal rates for a bit. Um, I think Master Farmer might be less... Like, the the potential money I can get from it is not as good as the money I can get from Slayer. Um, but I feel like that will not be true. <laughs> the higher thieving gets. Uh, Master Farmer's pretty nutty uh, gold per hour once you stop failing pickpocketing. So we'll do some of that. Uh, I don't know how much of that's going to fit into the end of this episode. Maybe we can still fit in a, a mini quest, but you've probably learned by now not to take me seriously when I say that we're going to do mini quests. Who the hell knows? Uh, thanks. I'll see you in a few seconds. From your perspective. Good morning. How's it going? Uh, gonna blow this glass.
had to run into the stream office. I'm cooking my breakfast here. Uh, 67 crafting. One more to go. Three more to go for Questgate. Oops. So I think I miscalculated. Uh, <clears throat> when you use Super Last Make, you only get half as much crafting XP. So I'm either going to have to get more glass at the end of this, or I'm going to have to um, make some like blue dragon hide, something or other. I'll look into it. It's crafting 68, and I'm really glad I went to bed when I did last night. Uh, I always underestimate how long it takes to blow glass. That was an hour. Just blowing glass. And now we can natively make the blue dragon hide chaps, which is cool. Um, let's go ahead and do the thing that requires boosting. So we have to make a skills necklace. So let's figure out what all goes into that. I want to say it's just like a gold bar. Dragonstone Necklace. Dragonstone Necklace is... Gold Bar Dragonstone Necklace Mold. Okay. Maybe we'll get rid of my current spellbook first. Okay, here we go. Boost. Mushroom Pie. Dragon Necklace. Fucking awesome. Alright, now we just have to enchant that. I've been wanting one of these for a really long time. It's gonna make, like, going to the farming guild way more convenient. Uh, let's see. Level 5 enchant. Nice. Skills necklace. Very cool. We have to charge it. Before you can use it at all. Okay, I didn't know that. But maybe at least started with a charge. It's cool that we gotta go to the Legends Guild. It's the diary task, anyway. BLR. Broadband Laser Raging. The things my wife does for her job. Use Skills Necklace on Totem Pole? There it is. Nice. Little power emanating from the totem pole as it recharges your necklace. You can now roll the necklace to teleport. We're going to get more caskets while big net fishing. I think that means we only have one more for Artemis, right? Yeah, Dragon Square Shield. Well, I guess I'll use this now to go scope out the farming guild. Um, do my contract and all that fun stuff. Here is the shield right half. Oof. That's a lot of money. <clears throat> All for a shield I probably won't use because I'll end up using the Dragon Defender. Too bad I didn't get this before going for the Defender. I'm here anyway, I may as well recharge the necklace, right? Sweet. Okay, I gotta go to West Arduin. This is so expensive, I want to make 100% sure that I'm going to the right place here. Smith the Dragon Square Shield in West Arduin. Shield left half, shield right half, hammer. Except trying to fix the ancient shield, it's in some heavy action, it needs some serious work. So we're doing a Longer animation. Even for an experienced armorer, it's not an easy task, but eventually it's ready. You have restored the Dragon Square Shield to its former glory. Nice. Completed all the hard tasks in the Arduin area. So we get two pints of the Flying Horse in. Fucking awesome. Alright. Well, that'll at least be... Uh, we'll use that in place of the Rune Kite Shield. If I ever do something that requires mostly defense...
completed all the hard tasks in my achievement diary. You want your reward then? Yes, please. Upgraded your Arduin cloak. 150 pure essence each day. You can toggle the watchtower teleport to the center of your meal. Claim further drops his notes in the Tower of Life. 10% better chance at pickpocketing everywhere. Awesome. Let's see if I can deposit that lamp. If I can, I'm gonna throw it on Herbler and just we'll have more XP I need to make up. Uh watchtower. Configure. Change to Yanil. Awesome. Okay, so I need to change my player owned house later. Not a not a huge priority, but something I eventually want to do. Cool looking cloak. Alright, so we've got a little bit less than an hour left in the episode. I want to try out this uh, new 10% pickpocketing chance. So we're going to head to uh, Place Farming Guild. I cannot bank the lamp, so I'll burn it. Close to 63. Let's see if I can make some quick uh, expeditious, or not expeditious, the, the bracelet thing that, dodgy necklace, that's it. I got a phone call there, that's why we're going a little over time. Um, probably just going to finish this batch of seeds, and then next episode I need to do some Nightmare Zone because I've got some work that i got to do, so. We'll do attack and defense training, I think is the plan. Okay, yeah, the XP rates on Master Farmers are way better now. Went from like 30k an hour to like 50k an hour. Getting a good number of seeds. Um, I am going to start selling Ranar and, well, I might plant a couple Snapdragons because I don't think I get Snapdragons anywhere near as frequently as I get Ranars. Yeah, I've got three Snapdragon leaves and 96 Ranar weeds. So I probably have enough Ranar weeds to, you know, make prayer potions for the rest of the playthrough, but Super Restores I'm going to want more of. Um, so I might start planting the Snapdragons, even though they're worth a bunch of money, at least until I, you know, build up my, uh, my stack a little bit. Um, let's see. I'm gonna harvest this corn really quick. The whole reason I planted it is that uh, I want to get more Hispori seeds. I don't really care about the corn itself. And then we'll wrap. Cool. Thank you, folks. Uh, that's this episode. Next episode is gonna have two, three, maybe four hours of Nightmare Zone. Uh, I guess if I'm going to do a ton of Nightmare Zone in an episode, I will make it up to you by doing something slightly more interesting, <laughs> like um, uh, mini quests. I think my next big goal, though, is I want to get 70 Prayer, because I want to get the Mauritania Hard Diary. Uh, there's a lot of reasons I want the Mauritania Hard Diary. It gives a ton of awesome bonuses. The Bone Crusher is really good. The big thing I want, though, is the extra runes from Barrows. I like to have that before doing Barrows. As far as focus farming for, um, while I'm talking, I'm going to go restore my stats, so this would be bad for, <laughs> for Nightmare Zone to be at minus 40 attack. Uh, 70 prayer is going to be a pain in the ass. Um, I'm going to have to, like, target farm something, like a dragon or something to get the bones to do it. So I need to figure out what I'm going to be farming. Uh, I honestly have no idea what makes the most sense, but... I'll try to figure that out. Maybe I'll look at like an Iron Man skilling Discord and see what their suggestions are for prayer training. Um, but I think I want to brute force that whenever I'm paying attention to the game and then um, do Nightmare Zone and keep getting our combat up in preparation for these Grandmaster quests when I'm not able to pay attention. Super pumped about having this Unil teleport. That's awesome. It's even closer to the bank. Cool, thanks. We'll see you next episode.